my channel um i am so happy that you are here checking out this video this video is all about my emotional my mental my spiritual health my physical health even all of those things after having an interesting birth i try not to label it traumatic because um i don't want to like drive it off the cliff if that makes any sense i want to um keep it in perspective and um yeah interesting stressful unknowing how it would end birth this is it right here so um yes stay tuned okay so um if you don't know i had uh just to give a short synopsis i had a bit of a crazy birth with mickey my last born he is nine months now and um it was just a crazy experience started off great he was a little late that was about it um but as soon as labor went it went like it always does it go, i go super fast once i start there it goes okay so um it was about four o'clock i want to say when it just started getting kind of heavy i let my midwife know i can't remember the time frame at this point but i know it went fast and i know around um five uh so maybe six or so something wasn't as great because what happened was that my water broke and then everything kind of shuffled around the wrong way and his heartbeat was like low and then yeah it was just low okay it came back after she checked it uh for the last time but then something oh I, my water broke i mean no no not my water broke i had a contraction because my water broke and it was all discombobulated she his heart his heart rate was low then i had a heart contraction and my umbilical cord came out first which is a bad sign because that means the baby's head is on top of the umbilical cord and that means he cannot breathe because it's crushing his air supply because he wasn't in water anymore so that posed a pretty crazy situation before when she checked me i was five to six centimeters up i believe um then then um i had a huge contraction I'm, I'm hoping i'm guessing i'm hoping i'm guessing that that pushed me even further along because in that contraction i had to get him out so um that's when she noticed everything was wrongly placed um baby is supposed to come out first and then everything else and it was backwards for me so i had to push him out really fast at around seven i'm gonna say guess to eight centimeters um my cervix open um and had to push him out she helped me we got him out he was white y'all white um it's crazy to even think about that it was in my on my bed just he was just straight white floppy just like just non-responsive uh they did uh cpr for um what is it rescue rest rescue rest i can't think of cpr yeah um compressions and rescue rest on him and um the the EMS was called. Da, 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 da. He, well, he woke up. He started breathing. He started coughing. He was a baby, just regular, uh, kind of again. He was just very, just like flaccid. Okay, so it ended up he had to be treated as if he did have brain damage. Thank God he didn't. But I did go through a point where it was kind of like what in the world because I mean I basically saw my baby dead and I had to like shake his feet and stuff and say wake up Mickey while this is happening and um, it was just a lot it was a lot <laughs> so here we are nine months later emotionally how do I feel I feel very great emotionally before I had him I was doing work on myself um come seeing my emotions for what they were instead of what they were not I, I saw them as something that i could actually control and some instead of something that just comes and goes whenever it wants you know what i'm saying um it wasn't on a robotic thing it was actually on my terms i control my thoughts i control my emotions so since i had already started on that it helps me come go through this so i did struggle with not that why did this happen to me, but, um, or even anything regarding that. It was just that I just didn't want my baby to be thrown out, you know, in this world in such a crazy manner. 
it was something I didn't want to him to experience. I didn't want him to be away from me. I was just very concerned of, about him. You know, his spirit. You know what I'm saying? And um, that was something I did have to deal with. I had to remember that they could take care of him more than I could at that time. I couldn't do tests on him. I couldn't make sure that his body was healing well because I don't have that type of technology here in my house. But I have a boot. You know what I'm saying? I have comfort, I have all the motherly things, but I don't have what he needed at that point. So that completely helped me emotionally. Um, and I mean, my husband, he was very good. Thessalon was awesome with just being here. You know what I'm saying? Um, my sister was great in just being there. I just had um, a good support system within myself but also around with my family, you know. So emotionally, now I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful, for real. Mentally, did have some type of like, okay, am I okay? Like, is this real? Is this a real reality that I live in? Or did my baby die? Um, is that something I couldn't take? So I ended up creating this, okay, this is a baby, even though there was nothing there. Um, I really did, I was like, I might be weird to think that, but I'm like, no, that could totally happen if I felt too bad about it, you know what I'm saying? So um, I had, I thought of those things. I also thought of the fact that I wasn't there for him and how that might um, have affected him mentally. So that affected me mentally because I was fighting guilt. You know, in the beginning, I wasn't gonna be in it because he had to go to stay at the hospital for a week. So, um, I had to remember that that wasn't true. Anything that could have occurred or he might have been feeling at that time was probably like, oh, I'm so pissed because I can't have no food because <laughs> he couldn't eat at first. They had to um, give him his sustenance through uh, IVs. So, um, besides that, he probably was like, Where did my mom go? But I was there twice a day. And uh, I'm, I was so blessed to be able to do that. So blessed. That helps me so much, immensely. Um, especially when I was able to nurse him. That when I was able to nurse him, they let me nurse him very, I mean, they were so kind. The nurses and everything. Very, lo like, loving, you know what I'm saying? To my baby and to me. And they, they allowed me to do it very quickly. So he was able to latch. So that helped me mentally to just know that, oh, I'm doing something. You know, I was I was up pumping twice and every night um, to make sure that my milk was coming in and he was getting all the milk that he needed. I was pumping like a mug, okay? Um, that helped me, that he was just able to straight have milk. He didn't have to have any formula while he was there. So that was like, that helped me so much that I was actually doing something. And he only stayed there a week, but it seemed like so long when I think about it. But yeah, he stayed there a week and the fact that he came home was quickly helped me also mentally, you know what I'm saying? That I was able to just have my baby in my shirt like I always do when I have babies. And um, it was that was just so beautiful. And I'm just so thankful, you know? He's just a regular crazy baby. I always want his mama. He's in the stage where it's just like, is my mama over there? That's, I, that's the only person I want. And um, <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. Um, now spiritually. Spiritually is my favorite. Spiritually covers the emotions and the mental, you know? Um, I totally feel that God, I mean, he was. God is with us throughout the entire time. Always with us, right? walks with us at every point in our lives, at every moment. And God is definitely big in that room. Because not only did I push my baby out, my midwife knew everyone around acted quickly. Everything happened as if it was. It was, just, it was uh, as if it was supposed to. And it was that spiritual strength that guided me through that and everyone around us, um, around me and Mickey with theirs also, got it, them through it. Um, it was the first time that that happened to my midwife and she acted beautifully. That has to do with her intuition, her discernment. Mine has me being like, okay, cool, let's, let's, let's make this work. Let's get this baby out completely with my strength in God. And I am 
just so grateful for the spiritual journey that that took me through because I'm not the same Adrian that I was then. Um, I have blossomed into a whole nother Adrian after that whole situation and God guided me through that. Um, God guided me through that. I'm so grateful that I've had the perfect births at home and I've had the crazy births at home because in my honest opinion, I would still rather never have my births anywhere else. <laughs> It's, it, it, it is a truly enlightening experience. And to know that you can have the strength and the capacity to not only birth your child naturally with no medication or any of that, but also birth and y'all can grow together naturally through a traumatic, through a crazy birth, then God, you know God is real and God is there. And I hope my story and my growth is a message for an encouragement for anyone in any space in any situation that you go through that you trust the spirit within you because of that spirit is your essence that concludes my video and just let me know your thoughts what is the situation that has grown you what is the situation that you felt like? What in the world is happening to me? I can't believe it, but you made it through or you're making it through. How are you doing that? What is guiding you mentally, emotionally, spiritually? What actions are you taking? What path are you following? I love y'all so much. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe because I have more of just unapologetically peacock mama. You know what I'm saying? The whole essence of that filtered through my eyes and others as we add to this channel. I love you guys.